All right, 9.27, out of the gym, at work. Gonna eat my first meal in about 30 minutes. Um, good day at the gym. I think dividing my, my days into a upper lower, upper lower uh, will work. I definitely like working out four days a week. I've done five, I've done six, I've done seven. I think four is a good balance for the typical uh, person who has, you know, a life outside the gym, who's got to go to work. Maybe you have a significant other, a pet, you know, friends. Four days is, is good. Anyways, I'm gonna go to work and then uh, I'm gonna have my first meal. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Bye. All right, it's about 5.43 uh, Tuesday afternoon. Good day, easy day, not real different from the other days. Um, breakfast or meal one was the same, eggs and oatmeal. Meal two, I actually had the Ezekiel tortillas again instead of sweet potato. Um, I couldn't do sweet potato, I can look at it again. Uh, chicken, and then now I'm just getting ready to eat my peanut butter sandwich and my protein shake. So yeah, easy day, didn't go to the gym either. Just did my stretching in the morning and drank some water, drank some coffee, yeah. Tomorrow is going to be a leg day for me and that should be fun because leg days are the best. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see y'all tomorrow. It's 7.12, Wednesday evening. I'm actually having my protein shake later than I thought I would. I just lost track of time. I was, I don't know, I was just on my phone looking, looking at some stuff. And uh, yeah, next day I knew it was uh, seven o'clock. Anyways, day went smooth. Breakfast, uh, no change. Actually, there was a change. I had chicken instead of turkey, uh, cause I ran out of turkey and I didn't feel like eating a whole bunch of egg whites to make up for the protein difference. However, with that said, I was still missing, um, or I was still down by about 25 grams of protein when I got home. So what I ended up doing was having a little snack of two ounces of chicken and these Tortilla Factory protein tortillas. Um, they're, uh, they're fairly clean, they're plant-based. I mean, the worst thing here in this ingredients label would probably be, yeah, I don't know. I think it's actually pretty clean. I mean, water, whole wheat flour, uh, it's got a protein blend, wheat gluten, unbleached wheat flour, uh, expelled pressed canola oil, baking powder, uh, citric acid, enzyme, sea salt, yeast. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty, pretty, Pretty good. It does come with 12 grams of protein. As I get pretty close to the end of this clean eating, 27 days of clean eating, you know, at the end of it, nothing is going to really change. I'm still eating clean. I've been eating clean for, I don't know, the last year, two, three, four years. If anything, I'll probably just end up lessening the amount of time I'm fasting, uh, including an extra meal somewhere. Anyways, I'm gonna finish this protein shake and I will see you all tomorrow morning. All right, it's about 10, 17, Thursday morning. I just finished my workout. Now I'm just taking my dog for a walk. Yeah, good day at the gym, upper hypertrophy day. So a lot of reps. Once I get done here, I'm gonna need some breakfast. I think I'm gonna change up breakfast a little bit. I don't know how, but um, I'll show you guys when I get there. Also been thinking about how I'm gonna change my training once I'm done with these 27 days on Saturday. I think I'm gonna go to a five day split of a lower upper legs push pull. Uh, just because trying to get all the reps, all the sets in in four days is kind of hard. Um, and I don't like spending a lot of time in the gym. I just like to get in there, uh, give it give it some good intensity and then get out and go to work and eat. So yeah, finish this walk and uh, we'll see y'all at breakfast. 11.26 is the approximate time. Getting ready to have my first meal. Said I was gonna change things up a little bit and I kind of did. Of course, I stuck with my eggs, egg whites, and I actually got chicken in there too. Uh, I got my oatmeal and bananas. However, I only have 40 grams of oatmeal. And then the rest of my carbs is gonna come from this Ezekiel uh, Sprouted Crunchy Cereal. This is good stuff, I like it. It's not the most flavorful, it doesn't have a lot, of, a lot of sugar, but it's got sprouted wheats, spliced almonds, sprouted barley, sprouted millet, sprouted lentils, sprouted soybeans, malted barley, sprouted spelt, filtered water, and sea salt. So 
No sugar, no sucralose, no aspartame, no corn, uh, no fillers, no enriched, unbleached flour, none of that stuff. It's, it's, I love it. Um, and it tastes good to me. I don't know. So I'm gonna do that. And uh, yeah, and then I'm just gonna do some stuff around the house and then wait until I can eat again. So a couple more days left and we'll see y'all either later tonight or tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna smash this meal and we'll see y'all later. All right, it is 3.48 on Thursday afternoon. Getting ready to have my second meal. And of course I wasn't paying attention, so I'm actually out of chicken. However, since I'm always prepared, I do have these pre-cooked chicken skewers that I got from Costco. I like these quite a bit. It's just chicken. It may not be the most cleanest chicken because it has, oh, here it is. It has one gram of sugar which is, I'm not sure where it's coming from. I'm assuming maybe the dextrose um, or the natural flavor. So not the cleanest, but if you are kind of shopping for food that you kind of want to be able to just throw in the microwave and heat and eat without prepping too much, uh, the macros are fairly good for this. For a 114 gram serving, it's three and a half grams of fat, three grams of carbs, and 24 grams of protein, so it's not bad. I typically eat about anywhere from, you know, four to five ounces of this, and it's, uh, it's pretty good. So check them out at Costco. I think it's like $11.99 for one of these, so not bad. Along with the chicken, I will be having these minute brown rice, and then I saw these at Costco too, the rice cauliflower. I've never had rice cauliflower before, so I'm gonna try that, see how that works out. And then of course, I'll probably be having this whole bag of salad. And then after that, uh, probably just waiting a few hours and then, you know, having my last meal of the day. So pretty good. I'm eating a little bit later than I thought I was going to, but that's just because I took my dog out for a two mile walk, did some sprints with her as well. So just getting those extra calories burned, I guess. Um, it was good, it was fun, I had fun, so. See y'all later. Yeah, so that uh, rice cauliflower was absolutely disgusting. It was horrendous. I can't imagine anyone eats that because they like the taste of it. I can see that if you're on a super low carb or even low calorie diet where that can come in handy, but it was just disgusting. I only had about half of a spoon and I could tell it was, it was not for me. It tasted like cauliflower. Uh, and I don't like cauliflower, so it was it was pretty gross. Maybe because it was bland. I don't know what people do with rice cauliflower, but that one was just plain rice cauliflower. Maybe I had to add some spices and herbs and throw in some other stuff in there, but yeah, not for me. Would not recommend it <laughs> unless you are on a low carb or, or low calorie diet. So avoid it and just, just eat regular rice. Just try and find regular rice or potatoes or granola or oatmeal or something other, some other form of carb other than rice cauliflower because that was just terrible. All right, it's about 106 in the afternoon. Uh, getting ready to go on a run. Had my first meal of the day, of course, no surprise. Eggs, oatmeal, and I actually had that Ezekiel cereal again. It's really good, banana. Um, oh yeah, I threw some of that Mexican chocolate in there as well, it was really good. Uh, so yeah, I'm just getting ready to go on a run. Maybe like a, I don't know, 20, 30 minute run. Haven't had a good cardio day since I think Sunday. So we're just gonna run and uh, we'll come back, eat and see y'all later. All right, it's 6.18, just finished my, actually I just finished uh, cooking some chicken and having my peanut butter with my Ezekiel bread. Getting ready to drink my protein shake now. So easy day today, didn't go to work, didn't hit the gym, all I did was go for a quick 30 minute run. That run just took a lot out of me. Going uphill just really set my, my legs on fire and I did it at the hottest part of the day. I did it at one o'clock uh, so that someone was just beating down on me. I wore a tank top. Um, yeah, so I was just super exhausted uh, about two hours after, you know, my body, my body just felt super exhausted. So anyways, uh, almost done with this clean eating diet. 
I think I mentioned this before, I'm not gonna change a whole lot after. I've been eating fairly clean and fairly well and within my calorie budget for the last, I don't know, three, four years now. So it's just what's routine to me now. Tomorrow's a new day and we will see y'all then. Bye. All right, it's 6.06 .06 p.m. Just had my peanut butter sandwich like I always do, typically. Um, yeah, that's it. That'll, that'll end this 27 days of clean eating. Just out here taking my dog for a walk now. Getting those last few, I guess, calories or steps in, however you want to call it. That's it for 27 days of clean eating. Uh, I'm not going to say it was easy. I'm not going to say it was hard. I've been doing it for quite a while. Uh, and you know what? To be honest, I'm not even going to say I stuck to the diet completely. This past week, I kind of kind of been having like spoonfuls of ice cream when I come back from when I come home from work. But since I've been eating below my actual calorie range it all kind of worked out you know i did gain one pound from the last time i weighed myself and that could just be a combination of muscle gain fat gain water intake any, anything like that so i'm just gonna finish walking my dog go back home drink my protein shake and then yeah just tomorrow morning i'm gonna go to the gym i'm gonna hit legs super hard and then it'll be donut sunday for me so stick around uh, hopefully so you guys can watch that Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Anyways, my name's Dieter, the Donut Eater, and this was 27 Days of Clean Eating. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will see you all later. Peace.